Was it really just a two-year vacation? In the short term, I didn't really anticipate graduating into a shaky economy and landing my desired job straight out of the MBA program. Hi everyone, my name is Kelly. I'm currently a second year full-time MBA student at Duke's Fuqua School of Business, also known as Fuqua. I'm graduating in a month and I'm feeling super reflective, so I thought I'd share a couple of takeaways I have from my MBA experience and also answer a couple of common questions I get. Like, why did I decide to get an MBA? What does a full-time MBA program look like? Is the MBA worth it? Was it really just a two-year vacation? So let's get right into it. So why MBA? The most popular reason for getting an MBA is to pivot your career, and that's exactly what I did. After I graduated from college, I worked in the media industry for a couple of years, and my job was to basically launch ads on platforms like Facebook and Google to drive traffic to my company's websites to help grow our content-generated ad revenue. After a few years, I didn't really want to work in advertising anymore, but when I tried to apply to roles in other industries, I found it pretty challenging, and I got rejected a lot because I was told I didn't have the right experiences or the right skill sets. After talking to a couple of people, I realized that business school was a great way for me to pivot and pivot fast into another career path. The top three industries that people tend to pivot into after getting their MBAs are investment banking, consulting, and tech. And I'm actually going to pivot into one of those industries. Can you guess which one? <laughs> okay. Is the MBA worth it? So my answer to the question is yes and not sure. And I'll start with the not sure part because I want to end on a positive note. In the short term, I didn't really anticipate graduating into a shaky economy. Honestly, it does keep me up at night a little knowing that I left a booming job market in 2021 only to graduate into an uncertain economy or potentially a recession. But hindsight's 2020, and my favorite quote actually comes from my favorite mentor, which is, I am making the best decision I possibly can with the information I have right now. There's no way I could have predicted the economy would suck in 2023. So in 2021, getting an MBA at that time was the best possible decision I could have made for my career at that point in time. And in the long term, you hear it all the time, which is the most valuable thing you get out of your MBA program is essentially the network. So I guess I'll see the long-term payoff maybe like five or ten years down the line so it's a little bit hard to say right now all right now i'm going to share my yes answer and there's going to be three categories to this answer so first off career prospects so i did achieve what i set out to do which was to pivot my career and landing my desired job straight out of the mba program so yes it was worth it First off, companies will have dedicated recruiting teams for your school, especially the consulting and investment banking industries. These recruiting teams are usually alumni of your MBA program, so they work really hard to recruit more people from your school, and so the cycle continues. <laughs> also, there's a whole new world of opportunities that are suddenly available to you that wasn't available previously. Even though you're technically the same person with the same skill sets coming into business school, but when you get into business school, the same types of jobs that were rejecting me previously were now offering me interview opportunities. So many of my classmates actually pivoted with immediate success from teacher to investment banker, nonprofit worker to brand marketing, from military to consulting, the list goes on. Number two, you meet a lot of really interesting people. The admissions team puts in a lot of effort into creating a really interesting and diverse group of people for your MBA program. I've made friends from all over the world and had super interesting conversations with startup founders, former nurses, former professional poker players, etc. Especially coming from LA and being a communications major in college, I felt like a lot of my network was really limited to the advertising or entertainment space. So business school was a cool way for me to branch out and meet classmates from all these different industries like healthcare, military, finance, government, etc. One of the things I'm most grateful for coming out of the MBA program is all the meaningful conversations I've had with some really cool people that I probably wouldn't have crossed paths with had I not come into business school. And my third reason why I think getting an MBA was worth it is personal enrichment. And the first bullet point I have for that is, of course, travel. There are so many opportunities to travel within the MBA program, and a lot of the trips are organized by classmates who've actually lived in those countries. For example, I went on a Morocco trek that was organized by my friend who actually used to work at a travel agency there in Marrakesh. I also went on an Israel trip that was organized by a classmate who actually grew up in Tel Aviv. And yeah, I had so much fun on these trips and I got a super personalized 
experience out of it because we actually went with friends who had lived there. Post-college, it's kind of hard to find a group of friends to travel with because everyone has work and busy life commitments, but in the MBA program, you get to travel with over 10 of your closest friends, so it's a ton of fun and you get to make new memories together and that makes the experience so much more fun. Assuming you're in a US full-time MBA program, you have pretty much two years of uninterrupted free time to explore your interests and take a breather from your career. Whether you want to use that time to found a startup or intern in new industries, especially those of you coming to school from these high pressure, fast paced industries, this downtime gives you time and energy to really reevaluate your priorities and figure out where you want to take your career next. Honestly, you can do this stuff without going to business school, but it's just an added bonus of this experience. All right, so I actually did have a fourth reason, and my fourth reason why I'm glad I did my MBA is because I experienced a lot of personal growth over the past two years. This is something I didn't really expect, but I'm an introvert, so being thrust into this extroverted type A environment was quite challenging and a super stretch period for me. For example, despite my public speaking fears, I challenged myself to raise my hand up more in class and contribute in front of 70 plus classmates. I used to not really like organizing stuff, but I started organizing a bunch of events and trips for my friend group and I really put myself out there the past two years. Business school was also a great rejection therapy session. Especially being in an environment with a lot of smart, ambitious people, like sometimes you don't always get what you want, whether it's jobs or club positions, but I really learned how to take rejection in stride and move forward, and I feel like that has really helped me grow a lot as a person. All right, so in conclusion, do you need an MBA? The answer is no, you do not. I probably could have pivoted into another industry a little more organically, like taking on an advertising role within a different industry, find a company with a good internal mobility culture, and then move into another department and pivot that way. But honestly, that could have taken a long time. And I feel like it's not really guaranteed, like there are so many other external factors you have to keep in mind, like is your manager supportive? Does the company actually support internal mobility, et cetera, et cetera. But I found that the MBA was an extremely quick way to pivot. As soon as you get into the program, so many doors are suddenly opened. You instantly have access to all these different industries, different functions. And I found that the alumni network was actually a lot more eager to help than my undergrad network. Looking back at my past two years, I'm so glad I took the leap. And if you're currently applying for MBA programs or you've just gotten in, I hope you're excited too because you're gonna have an absolute blast and you're gonna learn so much. All right, so if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I will be posting more MBA content because I'm on summer break right now and I am super bored. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Okay.